Welcome back! So today's video is going to be about our one week update. As you all know, we saw our labor and delivery vlog. If you didn't, go check it out. Um, but today we're going to be talking about how our first week went um, hmm. with our new baby. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, but other days she'll wake up. Like, I played the game from like from 1 to 5 o'clock because she was asleep. I mean, cause, oh. Did you call her? Alright, so we can start off talking about the hospital stay. So, we had him on the 5th, which was a Tuesday, and I got discharged on Friday. June the 5th. What? No, I'm saying June 5th, oh. 2018. <laughs> For those of y'all who are watching this 10 years from now, you know, we is a big YouTube family and everybody loves us. And y'all like, oh, Mari's so big. Yep, we had him on June 5th, 2018. <laughs> so, um, after the surgery, um, the first couple days in the hospital, it was, it was kind of hard. So I couldn't get up do anything for myself, so Dario had to, every time the baby made a noise, get up and check on him, because I couldn't really do it. Can y'all see the time? It's 5.20. And he is wide awake. Um, I think, the, I didn't get out of bed until Thursday. So Thursday was my first day out of the bed. Um, got up and kind of tried to walk around and stuff so I can prepare to go home the next day. Yeah, it, it wasn't just me. I want to give a shout out to our nurses. What was the one name? Um, ah, what was her name? She wasn't a nurse. She was a tech. That's a tech. Um, yeah, we had some really great techs. Um, and some good nurses too. But I feel like it was Reese. No, no. Did we get what R? I don't think so, <laughs> but I cannot remember her name and save my life. Mm. But she was really awesome. She made me get up. <laughs> yeah, she came in. She talked. She she basically walked her through the process. What was gonna happen? How she was gonna feel? And she was like, "If you need anything, you buzz." Uh, the couple of first couple of days, she was like real like helpful, and then a couple more days, she was like, "When well, the next day, she was like." All right, you want some water? I can show you where you get the water from, <laughs> but not in the not in a way like I didn't want to help you, but in a way like I want you to get out of bed and start moving around some. So, right. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it, being a second C-section, to be honest with you, I can't really remember how I felt in the hospital the first time because I had preeclampsia, so my blood pressure really high. They had me on magnesium, so I slept a lot. Um. And they had me on a morphine drip. So I feel like the pain was a lot more tolerable the first time. And I had and I was in the hospital for like a week after I had Alicia. So this time, you know, they gave me they took me off the IV that night, well, for the pain meds, and then it slowly transitioned from giving me meds and my IV to pills. So and it's a big difference in Abby meds and people. Yeah. <laughs> so I feel like the, the pain level was different this time. Um, I noticed a lot more burning where the incision was. Um, just trying to get up, go to the bathroom, take a shower. It was, it was a lot. So we had great nurses and techs to help out with that while we were there. Then we came home. I didn't, I wasn't able to get in bed because I couldn't lay down and get back up. So I just kind of slept on the chair straight up for the first two nights <laughs> and then I finally kind of made my way to bed um uh so with Amari when we was there we uh we went ahead and got him to c-section while while he was Sorry. lord Jesus c-section we went ahead and got him to circumcision while we was there we didn't want to come back or we didn't wait want to wait till he was old or anything like that so we went ahead and got that out the way and um Every time we changed his diaper, it was a big fuss. I don't know if it was because of that, but I'm just assuming that's what it was. So, like, changing his diaper was like a 
like a. Uh, you thought he was dying. Yeah, yeah, it was a, it was a <laughs> lot of yelling. And so, so that it, baby in the hospital, that probably was the like hardest thing. But I mean, not saying that it was hard. Just I mean, it was pretty simple dealing with him. But changing the diaper was like a, a fight and a fuss and everything like that. But uh, and he he wouldn't sleep in his uh. The little bit they rolled in. Uh, he, he would not sleep in that. He wanted to sleep on the pillow with that mommy. That's his sweet spot right there, y'all. So, uh, Amari, like, well, not like, he still likes to sleep during the day and be up all night. And it, it wouldn't be bad if he was just up being up. So, hopefully, he goes back to sleep. So. Oh. It's okay, it's okay. Hopefully he goes back to sleep so hopefully us can get a little sleep. But when he's up and he's not eating, he's crying. At night. Only at night though. When he's up doing day, he's fine. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think he feel like, you know, hey, I'm up and nobody else up. <laughs> this is not how it's supposed to be, so let me wake y'all up. So, you know, just in case something go down, y'all can protect me. But uh <clears throat> It was one night at the hospital that it was like probably like three o'clock in the morning and you know Whitney hasn't had any sleep because the nurse come in every hour or so trying to check her. I have I any sleep because I'm uh, trying to help her and trying to deal with the baby whenever the baby's crying or something like that. So it was one point where I think the nurse was just like that baby been crying for about three hours. <laughs> Let me go see what's wrong with the baby. It was like three o'clock in the morning. The nurse came in. I had I had Amari in my hand, and uh, I don't know if Whitney was sitting up or. It was a second night. It was a night. Uh, well, but the nurse saw Whitney over there, like, oh, she ain't in no no mood. This guy probably don't know what he's doing. She was like, you know what? Uh, he got to get his checkup anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and take him. Y'all get y'all some rest. So I don't I don't know. She, she took them to the nursery until about what, eight or so. Yeah, the sun was up when we woke up, <laughs> and they was they was switching shifts. So the next nurse was like, "Uh, I'm not about to watch our baby." <laughs> so she she had brought them back in before she left. But thank you for, to her too. I don't know what her name was, but that night it's whew. all a blur now. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, that night was was a little rough. All right, all right. So let's talk about bringing Omari home. So the first night I felt like he slept all right. Like he slept for three hours, he woke up for an hour, he ate, he went back to sleep for three hours. You know, he got up. But then the second night <laughs> he was up more than he was asleep. And it kind of started progressing that way then by like Saturday he was just up from 12 a.m. to past six. So, so how we were doing it were, <laughs> was um, Whitney would stay up with him. Not stay up with him, but if he was to wake up during the night, one night, Whitney would get him. So if it's Monday and Whitney woke up. This is after the first two days because I couldn't get up really and carry him. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I was, I was just getting up. Yeah. You were getting up I and mean, you would give them to me if he, to, to, to feed, feed or yeah. whatever, but he was getting up and changing them. <laughs> he was a trooper. <laughs> Cause he had to do all the changing. I couldn't bend over. Yeah. I, I did I all the pick changing him up. for the first week probably. Right. <laughs> so, so this kind of like a one week, two week update. So, uh, after this is like the, the next week, like we, when we leave on Friday, yeah. So like by Monday you was up, right? Yeah, by Monday I was oh, able Tuesday. to get up. I just wasn't able to bend over, so you were still changing them for me. Oh, uh, okay. So the way it was working was I get up one night and she would get up one night. So if if he, I get up and change his diaper and then she would feed him and make sure he get back to sleep or whatever like that. So, all right. So when she was starting to change him or whatever. This was getting to the point where he wasn't sleeping at all during the night. So it went from like sleeping from like until like maybe two o'clock, waking up, going back to sleep at like five, and then waking up at like 11 to 
waking up at 12 o'clock, staying up until five, and then maybe going back to sleep. But it's because I think we started moving more. Like we was going oh, to yeah, the going out. we was going to the grocery store. or well, not to the grocery store. Might as well. It, it, we went to like Baby's or where did we go with him? Was it Baby's? Baby's. Yeah. Walmart. Yeah. So uh, we was going places. So when he got in the car seat, he was going to sleep. So we was like, we'll maybe leave the house at like two or three, and then be out to like six or seven, and then come back. And he might like wake up, then go right back to sleep. So he was basically sleep the whole day. So by 12 o'clock, when we ready to go to sleep, he was wide awake. And then when we tried to go to sleep, he was just crying. And <laughs> it, 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 was, it was a nightmare. So the <laughs> night before I went to, was it the night before I went to work? No, it was Saturday. It was Saturday night. Okay, so I, I took a week off, so. I was gonna go back Saturday. I'm going back the following Monday. It's Friday. It was my night to get up with him. <clears throat> yeah, you're not making no sense. He took two weeks off from basically almost two weeks from when we had the baby. Cause you making it seem like you went right back to work the week after we was in the hospital. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I took two weeks off, and I just want to tell y'all about the last couple of days before I went back to work. So I took two weeks off. She was pregnant on Tuesday. I took that week off. Then I took the following week off. So it's the following week. It's the weekend. It's Friday. These are the, <laughs> the last two days <laughs> before I go back to work. Cause you know, Sunday morning, I mean, Sunday I go to bed, but I get up and go to work Monday. So Friday night into Saturday morning, Amari starts crying around like, one, one, one thirty. No, it was like twelve. No, nah, he was not my night. Oh, your night. Yeah, my night. Oh. It was like one, one thirty, and the night before he was our, he had already slept left. So I was like, this guy is gonna be up till the sun come up. So I'm like, all right, it ain't even no need for me to try to go back to sleep. So I went upstairs, warmed up one bottle thinking that was gonna be enough. Wound up a bottle, came back down, gave him the bottle, tried to burp him, and then put him back in his little uh, bed. He probably, and he was asleep at this time. He probably slept for like 10 minutes and was like, nah, mm -mm, nah, I ain't going to sleep. I right, get, get back up there. So, so I go back, at this point I did lay down. At this point I laid down. So it was from like 1.30, it was like 1.30 to maybe it was 2.30, 3 o'clock now. So I'm thinking I right, he just don't want to go to sleep because he don't want to sleep in his crib. So I lay him down in the bed beside me. I probably closed my eyes for two seconds <laughs> and he started screaming again. I'm like, all right, maybe if I rock him, I start, I stand up, I start walking around with him and he looking at me like this. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I mean, he not sleepy, obviously, <laughs> but at least he not crying. So I try to sit down on the bed. He's like, mm -hmm. I was like, all right, let me stand back up. And I'm like, at this time, see, he started that in the hospital. Him. <laughs> but that's because I didn't want him to be crying in the hospital. And everybody, you know, he like one baby screaming on the floor. <laughs> so at this time, it's like probably like uh, four o'clock. So I'm like, all right, he about to start crying again, which he did. So I'm like, he might be hungry again. I mean, four hours done passed almost. So I'll go warm up another bottle. I get him that bottle. And he, I'm like, he really about to take this whole bottle to the head. So he drinks that bottle, but he kind of like chilling out. Like, all right, I'm milk drunk now. So I'm about to go to sleep. So I put him in his crib again. As Soon as I do that, he wake right back up. So I was like, look, I'm just gonna play the game. Cause uh, he's obviously not going back to sleep. So I sat him on my lap and I did a little bounce thing. So he bouncing on my lap and I'm playing the game. I don't know what y'all thinking. That game was life? No. Why the wait? Until he go to sleep. It was like 5.30 before he finally went to sleep. 
And I was like, well, <laughs> I mean, this this is just this just can't happen. So the next, the, I I told Whitney to keep him up during the day. We couldn't keep him up. We we tried. We but, tried to keep him up the next day. So Saturday we went to his uncle's house. Oh no, I want that day because uh, we was out that day, so we couldn't keep him up that day. Right. Yeah. Saturday we went to his uncle's house for a cookout, and he slept the whole day. Uh, Yes. Yes. She ain't give me no hug, y'all. He still ain't saying nothing to me. <laughs> He's a sitting on attention right now. Okay, see, she ain't gonna go nowhere. He is off. He had a long day of sleeping. Then went back to sleep. But yelling at you in a minute. <laughs> I don't care what you did, it was noisy in there, they had music playing, people was talking, yeah. he would not wake up. Got home, midnight. Yeah we, yeah, we was going all day. He woke up. Woke up at midnight. But I think we was in the bed though, right? We probably got in the bed. No, I never got in the bed. No, no, you got in the bed, you probably didn't go to sleep, like, I think... No, I got. I came home. I gave him a bath, and I was like, "I'm gonna give him a bath and give a bottle. It's gonna make him tired. That would not go to sleep. <sighs> he ain't go to sleep until after 6 a.m. From midnight to 6 a.m., I was up <laughs> with him. But I, I was trying to tell Whitney because I was like, "Listen, yesterday he wasn't going to sleep if I put him in the crib. So I'm like, don't put him down. Just like rock him to sleep. He wasn't rocking to sleep." <laughs> I was tired of trying to rock him to sleep. So he was crying, I was crying. So, <laughs> yeah. By 6 a.m., I had real tears coming out of my eyes. It's funny I because... Was so I was tired, I was hurting, I had no pain meds. Uh, my feet are swollen still. <laughs> I was over it, I was exhausted. <laughs> it, it was funny because like the way we was doing it was, all right, Whoever get, cause he gonna wake up in the night. We we already established that. We just want to expect him to stay up all night. So if he wake up at two thirty, whoever get up and get him at two thirty, the other person gotta get up when the sun come up. So if he wake up at two thirty, then wake up again at six or whatever time the sun come up. Let's say seven. If he wake up again at seven, then when the sun come up, that means switch shifts. So <laughs> when he was up and like, even though I'm sleep, you know you can still hear the baby crying. So you go wake up a little bit, see what's going on, then go back to sleep. So I'm, every hour I'm like, he ain't sleep yet. <laughs> and then I, I look, we the other side of the bed like this. No, I was not that bad. She, <laughs> just, uh, yeah, I, you know, I, I pick up around her. She t like, she is really like a tear is coming down her eye. And I'm like. <laughs> that was really crying. Yeah, that's the thing I, I know. put him on the pillow. Yeah, she's like. <laughs> he was crying. <laughs> He went up crying, I was crying, but it wasn't, it wasn't nothing else I could do for him. He had eight, he was changed, he just would not go sleep for me. I was like, <laughs> the, the sun ain't came up yet, but it was about to come, so I was just like, hey babe, just get in the bed, I got him. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he went to sleep not too long after that. He probably was up for like another 30 minutes. But that, that was... <laughs> Yeah, that was my first if, if, time when they feel like when they ask you about the question you have, you had mommy boo. Yeah. That was the first time I had them. If, if real life had like cut scenes like they do in the cartoon, Whitney probably would have football spiked the baby. I hurt my baby. <laughs> no, but um, so that was, that was just basically the, the, I don't, I don't want to call it the bed, but uh, I mean, it's good, bad, and ugly. The, it was, <laughs> that, that was the, the, the struggle we had. Other than that, he's been fine. Like, um, yeah, I mean, he's not a bad, baby. Yeah, she she be looking at him like this all. Oh, <laughs> you can't. You at can't at, say at that. twelve o'clock, she looking at him like at noon. Oh, oh, at twelve o'clock, me and actually like, go to sleep, go to sleep, little baby. <laughs> <laughs> so that you know that was the sleep the sleep uh struggles no, so I just sleep when he sleep so it, it, it is what it is i gotta get him his care as as far as everything else we went uh the first day out 
we had to go to a doctor's appointment. And I could tell we we had had a baby in a while. Cause uh y'all we we went to the doctor's appointment without a baby bed. So we it not only did we go to the doctor's appointment without a baby bed, in, in our first week we had three doctor's appointments, right? Yes. We had we had the first one, which was just to see how he was doing. Then we had the one week doctor's appointment. And then we had another doctor appointment because he was being breastfed and he had lost some weight um, from the from the pounds that he was when he delivered. But he's fine now, he's gained weight. We'll tell you about that. So we had three doctor's appointments in the first week. We were late to all three doctor's appointments. And I, I believe we got later each time. Like, so no, the second time we were really Oh, okay, bad. yeah, no. The third time, it wasn't that bad. The second time, we were really late. Like, she was like, um, I'm gonna have to see if y'all can still be seen. <laughs> I was like, oh. Yeah, so the first time, we forgot the doc the baby bag. The second time, we, uh, what happened? We just late. Oh, we was just, yeah, we, you know, you just used to getting Alicia ready. Now we getting Alicia and Amari ready. We're getting diaper bags and... I wasn't moving as fast as... I, so it was... Yeah. It was a struggle that morning. And he, you know, when you sleep deprived, the alarm go off, you're like, all right. And, and then... Five more minutes. The, the third night, I mean, not the third night, the third daughter's appointment, we were only a little bit late, but Amaru decided he wanted to throw up on his... <laughs> For the new, first time ever. That, that was the first time he threw up. And he threw up all over his outfit and car seat. Yeah, and it was like the, 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 what was the movie? Exorcist. Yeah, uh, that's yeah, what it looked yeah, like. Yeah. At least he was like, yeah. <laughs> so, so when we got there, we uh, changed them and stuff. You know, they put you in the room before the doctors come. So we changed them and uh, everything was good. And as far as the weight, he was, he had, what was going on? Oh yeah, um, they said sometimes with breastfeeding, babies breastfed babies their weight can go up and down first week or so so he dropped when he was in the hospital he gained at his first appointment but then they wanted to make sure he was gonna keep gaining yeah his second appointment he lost like three ounces and then the last appointment he gained it back so still breastfeeding mm. um but he's doing good yep everything's good everything <laughs> This is an adjustment. We haven't had a newborn in almost seven years, so just trying to get back into the swing of it, and it's, it's a lot different now. Going back to work, so. Yeah, but I'm uh, back at work now, so. Uh, but her mom's here right now for the time being, probably for a week. So um, she has help, but when she's by herself, that'll be the real uh, challenge, yeah. I guess. Especially with. Yeah, at least you hit help you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. That Thanks. was week one baby update. Week one baby update. Thanks for watching. See you next time.